Hello, through the meerkat here. Welcome to another episode of. So weird being back on this boat. Um. Uh, you tell me why. That's that's what it's called. So yeah, I've changed the sound levels. Um, because I felt the the dialogue, the the music was too loud last time, and my voice was too quiet. Morning. Hello. Enjoying the ride? I don't think I could ever get tired of this. Agreed. Where are you headed? Uh, Delos Crossing. Same here. You from around here? Born and bred. Ah, you don't say. I have moved to Anchorage right here. Delos was mostly Alaska natives then. Blink it, I uh, haven't been home in five years. Oh, so you owed your family a visit? I'll say. You may not know it yet, but your folks, they get old real fast. Right. I'm Alex, by the way. Alex Gershwin. No relation. Huh? To George Gershwin. Um. Gershwin, the pianist. Folks are always asking for a lady, so I try to head it off the pass. Oh. Uh, what'd you say your name was? Just call me Tyler. All right. Good to meet you, Tyler. Likewise, sir. Well, Gershwin was not the first. The, the pianist was not the first thing I thought of when I said his name's George Gershwin, but... <laughs> Charming. What a waste of a good company. I don't get it. Alright. That probably wasn't worth me chewing it off, but as I said, it's actually quite hard to um, not uh, how hard to get rid of uh, a few seconds of footage getting through that, so we might have to see some more and stuff. Thanks. Hey, Allison. Can we take the scenic route instead of the highway? Allison? Guess not. in the car for the rest of the ride. You're right. I'll stay on deck. I'm not sure there's much sounds to look at.
isn't hunting season almost over? Almost. We're a draw for one of the last hunts of the season. Whoa, look at that antique. You're not one of those odd six of old and boring folks, are you? Mm. Yeah, I don't think the two of you are going to see eye to eye on hunting somehow. by now. Guess there's not much else to do. Watch. Now the camera's a bit shaky. Hope it doesn't bother you if I don't Alright, we're here. Shall we? Let's go. Back to the car, Roman. It's been an incredible place to live. Cold though. Basically, exactly like I remember it. Only faded. Like a Polaroid left on a windowsill. From the outside, it almost looks charming. Charm's not the problem. Structural integrity may be an issue. You think there's a chance whoever buys it will just tear it down? If someone buys it, they can do whatever they want with it. You wouldn't care at all? Would you? Sure. Everywhere I look, I see a piece of one of our adventures. Everywhere I look, I just see her. Allison, we could go grab a bite. Start this tomorrow? No. The only way to get this done is to do it. After you. Mm, just before I do that. Uh, did you smoke something before you left Fireweed? The door's right there. Oh, I'm right, fine. Locked. Well, it's a good thing I remembered this. You sure that's the right key? Yes. Maybe someone changed the lock. 
Who would change the lock on us? I don't know. We're screwed. You got a plan B? Yeah. We find another way in. I never knew a locked door that could keep the crafty goblins out. Yeah, we had a million ways in and out of this old house. At least one of them's gotta work. Uh, again, the, the window, um... I could break a window. You know civilized people don't do that, right? Oh, so we're civilized now? Well, maybe not. But we are trying to sell this place, and broken windows aren't exactly amenities. <sighs> the crafty goblins. I haven't thought about them in forever. Or should I say, us. We almost spent more time as goblins than we did as kids. Oh, do you remember all the other characters? The moon hag, the ice king, the old bear? Most of them, I think. But the details are fuzzy. Hey, do you know what happened to the book with all the stories? No, no idea. But I'm sure it'll turn up when we clean this place out. Okay, I guess it's best to look around the place. Remember how mad she'd get if we didn't use the compost? And she always knew when we were lying. Waste not, or kiss the planet goodbye. No, it should be fine. If we just get this board out of the way, I could probably squeeze through. So we need something to pry it off. It's screwed in pretty good. We need a screwdriver. Is this part of our property? At least the shed's still standing. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh. How did she get around on these roads with this thing? She'd rather have broken her neck than spend money on a new one. Yeah, still waiting for those bikes she promised us. Uncle Eddie got me one, but I hardly ever used it. Hey, it's locked, all right. be something in here that'll work. Hey, I see a screwdriver. Now all we need to do is get inside. Wait, I, um, I'm feeling something strange. Um, what? And don't leave this room until everything looks as clean as a whistle. Ugh. This is the millionth time I've gotten in trouble because of you. You and your big mouth. Hey, you were thinking the same thing. You just weren't brave enough to tell her. What good would it do? It's not like she ever listens to us anyway. Well, I'd rather scream it right in her stupid face than be a quiet little mouse. Oh, we forgot the key. We need to put it back. Maybe we could hide it somewhere. You know, for fun. Goblins are supposed to help the princess, not play mean tricks. Whatever, you're not fun. I'm only trying not to make her even worse. Whoa, did that just happen? I don't know, but I saw it too. It felt like it did when we used to share thoughts with our voice. It did, but that was a memory of us 10 years ago, right? I, I vaguely remember it happening. I think so. And uh, that's new, right? Yeah. We could share thoughts and feelings, but we never replayed memories like that. Why would it happen? And why that memory? I don't know. It's pretty eerie. It's weird, but our voice was always a good thing. This could be too. I'm feeling something again. Near the barn. Um, I yeah, assumed too. that um, this wouldn't have, um, they wouldn't have special powers. Um, uh, the best powers in the other Don't Nod games, but okay, that's cool. Are we not going to get the uh, screwdriver then? Hurry! Let's go 
see the silent frog? Coming. I'm coming. What? Stop sulking. I told you already. I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> okay. Guess you don't want to see what I put in the treasure room then. What? No, I want to see. I guess we know where to search now. We just have to remember which one is the silent frog. So, no, which one of you one. is hiding the key, hmm? Damn, where's the key? Seriously? Kidding. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. Nice job keeping a secret, buddy. need to take these at some point but I'm not going to take them now or look at them because I don't think I find anything that useful. I I kind of figured that uh, Genu, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, was a place, uh, a, uh, a town or a city or something in Alaska uh, but maybe I'm wrong. People don't normally sidestep like that. Got it. All this for a screwdriver? You got a better idea how to get in? You sure you want to go in there? This was our very first den, remember? Who knows what lives down there now? Everything okay down there? Tyler? Tyler? <gasps> oh, that's not funny! It's not too funny. <laughs> then why am I laughing? Okay, fine, but you're still an idiot. All right, I'm going in for real this time. Okay, I'll see you at the front door in a few minutes. Suppose you remember how to get to the dragons. Straight ahead. Need to go left, I think. Then left again after the goblins. Wow. Can't say I ever expected to see you again. It's been a long time, buddy. on the right. My bad. Wait. That was our treasure? It's just trash. We could make treasure out of anything. Our imaginations were that powerful. Pink. It always had to be pink. I 
found her old kite. <laughs> I think its wings have been clipped, though. Rest in peace, brave bird. Marianne grilled us about all these missing dishes, but a goblin never gives up their treasure. No key, though. Past the treasure. Straight, Straight ahead. ahead. You know, I almost convinced myself our voice was just another childhood fantasy. Me too. But we really are connected. The Mad Hunter. Why am I still afraid to say his name? He was Mary Ann's creation. She made all the creepy characters. to be in a very specific position to open that. Coming. It's just doing a nostalgia thing. Are you okay? I'll live. Good to hear your voice again. Yeah, same here. So, coming in or what? Just working up to it. Our memories thing anyway. Well, we're here. Here we are. So, how do we get started? We figure out what to keep, what to trash, and see what else this house might be trying to show us. Okay, this seems like a good time to end the episode. Uh, I will see you next time.